Hello everybody and welcome back to Willowire. Today we are playing the new Pokemon Snap. We are going straight into a research mission. And hopefully I can do better. I didn't do so great the first time. Oh. Are you headed out on another expedition already? Before you go, let me tell you one more thing you can do with your research camera. You can run a scan. That'll give you details about your surroundings. It tells you about nearby Pokemon and points out anything unusual. Hey, so. Professor, what counts as unusual? You've never given me a solid answer. So. Basically, anything that makes the system go, check this out! <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess that's all the detail we're gonna get. Yep. You'll get the hang of it once you try it, Rita. Would you mind demonstrating? Yeah. Leave it to me, Professor. All right, get that camera ready. I just realized she has no nose. Running a scan is easy. All you gotta do is press the X button. Try it out. Okie dokie. You saw that Pokemon's name pop up, right? Yeah. And, did you also notice that question mark? Yeah. That tells you there's something you can take a closer look at. First, My buggy. Put the pointer over the question mark. Did you see the pointer change shape? That's your cue to press and hold the X button to analyze whatever's there. Give it a My own buggy. Why am I analyzing my buggy? came up with the name Neo One. Well, it's pretty easy, right? When this icon pops up at the bottom of your screen, there's something nearby to check out. Sorry about the sniffles, by the way. I got both allergies right and the fact that it's really cold. Around. And yes, I know it's summertime, but it's early in the morning. It's been raining. It's like 2 a.m. There's one more cool thing you should know about scanning. Some Pokemon will react to the sound and electrical signal from the scan. If huh. you pay your attention, that's your chance to snap a photo. The professor calls it an accidental say cheese feature. Anyway, that ought to cover everything. Professor. Hey, professor, explanation's all done. Thank you. Thanks, Rita. Don't hesitate to run a scan. It'll tell you a lot about your surroundings. Okay, can I go now? First of all. Okay. My What, what, what was... Wait, how did I... Oh. I can get a Grookey, finally. At least part of a Grookey. Hey, turn around. I don't want your butt. You find it on my picture. Almost. So many butts. I need a better zoom in certain areas. Okay, so it stops them too. Okay. I don't know what. Wait, what was that? 
And look who it is. It's a trimple. I'm just kidding. I know it's a marble. Oh, it's upside down, dude. Okay. Oh, they flew away. Oh, you just ran away. Damn it. These are something I still need. Yeah, somewhat in the picture. Um, probably could have got a better picture of them. What? What? Oh, I see. I got a hoot hoot butt picture. But I guess it's something. There we go. Pavilion, I can't get a good picture of you if you're trying to keep your butt at me. I think that's its face. Oh. Dang it, comfy. Too dang comfy. Oops. Wrong button. You. Mm. Turn around. They never want to turn around. I need like an apple to throw at their face. Welcome back. No. Oh wait. Yeah, I found a hoo hoo butt. Did I already get a one star of him? I don't even know. Yes, I did, so I needed a two star. Grookey, I think this is the first time for him. Can I go for a one or a two? Might as well go for this one. Well, screw it, go for the two. Let's get it out of the way. Bowflint. Take it regardless. I hope it's the one in the middle, but it is flying. Hoot hoot butt. <sighs> Wait, why doesn't it show that I have a comfy? What? But I've already taken a picture of him. Why? Well, whatever. Oh wait, do I need these? No. Or whatever then. Yay, we got a new star. Go. A new discovery. Yay. Well, it would have been better if I could find a way to get him closer. Yeah, probably not. Nice work. 
no, it was better. Not by much, but it was better. Well then. Nothing special, but hey, you know what? We got one. Now we just gotta get the two star for that one. Nice work. Well, obviously, I'm gonna go with the better one. I just thought having two would make it better. A new discovery. Oh well. Nice work. Whoa. Surprised he didn't get mad at me for taking a picture of his butt. Professor Oak would have been very appalled. Mm. Great timing. Yeah, it's right there, so I wonder why it didn't show it before. Oh, because we got a three and not a one or a two. Nice work. Was it better? No. It was worse. It wasn't close enough, and I kind of figured that was going to happen. I was going to say, I didn't get any points for that. I got new Pokemon. We were level two! Look at that! You have hit a new stage in your research. Keep an eye out for changes, no matter how small. By the way, thanks to the progress you've made in your research, I've got something to report. I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. I'm not a photo saver. Not even in real life. I wonder just how many Pokemon are going to be in this. Hello. Your photography seems to be going well. Anyway. I think you're about ready for a nighttime visit to Florio Nature Park. Here's the thing. Woo! Hopefully you'll get to see one of Lentil's greatest wonders, a glow called the Illumina Phenomenon. Speaking of... You're the one who discovered that glow, or how that glow happens, right, Professor? Mm -hmm. Yes, I am, but explaining the process scientifically it was just one step toward my ultimate goal. Finding the special Pokemon spoken of in the legends of Lentil. You mean the Illumina Pokemon? I thought they were made up. No. No, they're very much real. You've seen the photos from Captain Vince's travel log, haven't you? What? You can barely tell what's in those photos, and they're ancient anyway, literally a hundred years old. Alright now. Well, we can discuss that later. For now, enjoy your nighttime outing! Yeah, we're just never gonna sleep. We're children. We don't need sleep. To the night! You know. mm -hmm. And I have the choice. I can fast forward or rewind time as much as I want. I want to partner Pokemon. They need to make real life Pokemon. Let's get some bioengineering going on here. You might get to see a whole new side of Pokemon at night. Oh my. Watch for differences in their behavior. You gone. You too big. Can't get a good picture. Bye. These buffalo are huge. I don't want your tushy. Okay, how about you? You look like you're good. What was it?
There's some glowy stuff on the rocks. More crows. Can't see them very well, but they're here. I didn't expect to see a pinch there. Oh, look at Torterra. Err, uh, that's not Torterra. Oh, uh, what's the middle form? I can't even think of it. Is that a baby? A ducklet. I forgot that I could take pictures. Oh my god, I forgot to take pictures. Uh, without zooming in. Pidgeot. Some people call that a pidget. To be perfectly honest with you, I'm not sure which is which. Oh my god. That was adorable. Oh, it disappeared. No, oh, maybe it'll come back. Or not. Plenty of Murkrow, apparently. Mm. I don't know if this counts. I don't know. Perfect. Not sure which one came out better. You replaced Talo. Oh, I got that picture, like, last second. Now, the Combe girls are the only ones that can evolve, and they evolve into Vespaquin, so I wonder if there's a way to make them evolve. We've got a lot to discuss, but first, let's get your photos evaluated. Well, I did take a lot of photos. Oh, score bunny. We've got ones and twos. Well, let's take this two because it's perfect. Well, that one is right up close, but I think that one's better. Oh, the Murkrow. They're all ones. This one and this one are closer, but this one's directly centered, and it has another one in the back, so I think this is the one that'll work. And pincer obviously is not an easy one. It looks like... Yeah, we'll probably need to go with... Well, I mean, that one's centered... Sort, sort of, but... We'll go with that one. And we only got twos on these ones. Perfect. I only got the one Caterpie. A Crystal Bloom? That's a thing. Perfect. Yeah, that one. Doo -doo. Wait. Oh, it just means it's not. Okay. Oh, boy. 
really? Oh, it's because he's not asleep. Wait, why is that one then? Is it because there's two? Maybe one of them's asleep? I don't know. I think those two are too big. That one might be the better one. Oh, wait. There's that one. Uh, we have a one star, so we need a two. I think that one would be best. Wait, how come I don't have any for my little one? I took pictures of the itty bitty ones. Rude. Really? Whatever. I'll get it on the next one. Let's do this. A new discovery. Nice work. Okay, I think I'm going to do the fire one next if I can. Best to sleep. Woo. And it's silver. I don't know what the highest ratings would be. Like, I would have thought gold, but it looks like the crystal or diamond or whatever that is is higher. Nice work. It's in flight. Eh, well, I guess that didn't quite count. See, that one's gold. This one's probably not going to be very good. Talk about up close and personal. Well, I got gold. This should be a good one. But it is up close. It's pretty much as close as I could get. Like, the stage ended right then. That one's gonna be bad. A new discovery. Nice work. No mention of the babies. Diamond on both of those, even though I don't, I don't understand this scoring for that. A new discovery. Nice work. I didn't think it was walking at all. We got a new record! Which honestly, I can kind of understand why. But that one's gold and the other one was crystal, so maybe gold's better than crystal then. Or silver. We're gonna call it silver. Like a normal person. Nice work. But then I don't even know, because that one looked like it was good. Uh, I don't even know. But it looks like gold is higher than silver. This is a Florio Island Crystal Boom. Um, that glow is what we call the Illumina Phenomenon. Okay. Looks like you've got the hang of nighttime research. Keep up the good work. Look at that, I got some more presents. By the way, thanks to the progress you've made in your research, I've got something to report. 
I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. <sighs> An adventurer who can who explored the islands in the lentil region around 100 years ago. After an encounter with the Illumina Pokemon when he was just a child, he devoted his life or something. Hmm, this is that's intriguing. <laughs> something incredible has happened. Here, take a look at this. Here's the thing. When you got near that field of flowers, I picked up an incredibly strong energy reading. Also, its source seemed to be moving too, if only slightly, which suggests that we've got here, or what we've got here is an Illumina Pokemon. We can't be sure yet, but I suspect so. I wonder why it showed up. Did you do anything special? I existed. I also doubt that it appeared when it did by chance. So I think you should be the one to investigate the area where the read or that reading is coming from. What? Oh, I want to go see too. You can watch through the monitor with me, Rita. All right. Please head out as soon as you're ready. Okay. I don't even know how much time we have. Uh, it should be fine. We're gonna do another one. Here. To the Illumina spot! Well, that's definitely where the reading was coming from. Do you see or hear anything? Like, yep, we're in my butt. That thing is huge. Is that how big a Meganium is? The fudge. The Illumina Pokemon. Quick, get its picture. Ganium. Turn your head. What is it trying to signal me to here? Is it just because of the Meganium? There we go. We're too close. Where are you going? Meganium. This isn't very fun, honestly. Ah, ah. You're too big. And off it goes. The energy meeting is gone too. Let's chat when we get back. Why didn't I just try to catch it? I could have a shiny. 
No, because that's taken. I could have had a glowy meganium. Or no. We've got a lot to discuss, but first let's get your photos evaluated. There's some butt. Where there's a two. I do have a three though. Most of uh, my pictures are all at waddling its butt. Really, why are none of these? Those are quite clearly meganium. I don't understand the differences between these stars. You know what? Boom. Are you telling me that all my three star photos are considered no good? What is this bull? I need to find one that's like centered. If only this one was just a little bit like to the right. Okay, well I guess I don't have any choice. That was just mean. That's a thing. Okay. Now, this you don't see every day. Next time, try watching its movements carefully to find your moment. I did, and you won't let me use them. Interesting backgrounds make your shots even handier for our research. I guess we'll go with the new one? The same thing. We got level two! All right. Another step forward for our research. I bet Pokemon in the area are getting comfortable with you. Nice pose. By the way, now that we've got the uh, Delumina Pokemon info, I've got something to report. I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away. You're back. Yes, you're back. Uh -huh. That was amazing, right? Wasn't it gorgeous? Wasn't it huge? And was it saying something? Rita. Easy there, Rita. Take a deep breath. Look who's talking. You were practically dancing, Professor. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. There's no doubt about it that Meganium was an aluminum, Illumina Pokemon, just like the legends. Remind me what the legends say about Illumina Pokemon again, Professor. They eat your souls. Didn't, didn't they supposedly save Lentil from a huge disaster a long time ago or something? Mm -hmm. So the story goes, yes. Illumina Pokemon were also said to have distinctive patterns and to glow with unusual light. <laughs> Sounds like our new friend. Yes, to the letter. I'm convinced the events in those legends are uh, really did happen. And discovering the true history of this region could be the key that opens up all our research. Oh. Hang on, wasn't there more important things that you were going to mention, Professor? That's right. Or, that's all right. It's pretty late. Let's pick up the conversation where, uh, from here tomorrow. I started that so bad. Morning. 
Good morning. Did you manage to get some sleep? Now, as Rita already told you, I've been preparing to launch an ecological survey spanning the entire Lentil region. And no sooner had you arrived than we suddenly found an Illumina Pokemon. You think there's a connection, Professor? I can't be sure yet. But fascinating things are bound to happen if you come with us. Really? Really? Oh. <laughs> well, you know, maybe. Jeez. For a scientist, you can be vague sometimes, Professor. But... Still, I think it's a good idea. <laughs> It'll be way more fun with you along. Right. Well, there you have it. Ready to officially join our research team? Excellent. Well then, let's make it official. With a team badge. Woo. I got a hat badge. Yep. It's like you were born to wear it. Alright. Well, what are we waiting for? Adventure awaits. Not to rain on your parade, Rita. But I need to get a couple more things ready first. <laughs> Oh come on. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit longer, alright? I promise it'll be worth the wait. Right. I'll explain next time you're headed out to do some research. Poof. Alright, well we're gonna call this one good here. Um if you've enjoyed this, hit that like and subscribe button. Tell me what you think about the Illumina Pokemon, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Bye!